<laughs> like, <laughs> here, here. Oh, that way. Here. Here. We got a lot of stuff that we are going to need for RV life. So we want to share some of that with you. Some of this you're going to be like, oh, that's crap and you probably don't need it. And some of this you're going to be like, oh, that's pretty cool. We got the chairs that we're sitting in. Yeah. Awesome the best chairs. chairs ever. They are comfortable. We can't recline because we got the furniture behind us right now, but uh, they recline all the way. Zero gravity chairs. And our surge protector. Yeah, that's going to help in case like the power spikes in an RV campsite or if uh, there's a surge of some kind. I am not an electrician, so I don't know exactly what it does. But I was told that we need one. It's just like a surge protector in your house. Yeah, but it protects your very expensive RV. Mm -hmm. Oh, this kind of goes with the surge protector. Mm -hmm. So this is a lock cast, and this goes over your surge protector because surge protector is pretty expensive. I don't know how much it was. was. It was pretty expensive, so, and you don't want to be stealing it. So you it's can. Like yeah, it's expensive. Check the receipt. Click this over it, and then you put a padlock on it so nobody steals your. Nobody steals your surge protector. And I would hope that people wouldn't steal your stuff anyway, but people, people steal, steal your stuff. People so steal. protect your stuff. And then you got the sewer hose. Yeah, we got the stinky slinky. <laughs> this is uh there's two of them in there that can connect. So it's ten foot on one hose and ten foot on the other. Uh, so you can connect it. So if your if your sewer hookup is further away, you'll have more more room to hook that up and has a little clear connection so you can see the uh, see when it's done the carnage as it comes out and uh, we have a way with words yeah sneaky sneaky mm -hmm. yeah. We, we went the smallest mat that they had because we didn't really know what size we need and you know space is always an issue so we want to make sure that we're not using up all of our space at once so we're trying to be conservative you can tell by all the crap we bought we're trying to be conservative well, we got the, uh, what size is this? Six by nine. Six by nine. Yeah, Rug, it's black nine. and gray. Okay. This is the um, adapter. This is the 30 amp plug that will go into the generator side. And then it converts it to the 50 amp plug uh, that our RV requires. So this will help us to run power to our rig when we're boondocking or mooch docking or driveway surfing or overnight stays at Walmart or whatever you want to call it. Digital tire pressure gauge. For anybody who used to be military, mm -hmm. you know, we got PMCS, our rigs, before and after movement. What you got? Talk about what you got next. Water regulator and pressure gauge. What's it do? I don't know. J I'm assuming it regulates your water and gauges your pressure. <laughs> <laughs> what would make you come to that assumption? I, I read. <laughs> I read the package. So what we were told that this does is it keeps uh, keeps your pressure from getting too high because you don't know what the pressure is at the site that's going into your into your rig. So let's make sure that it's a safe psi. It's not going to blow your your lines out or anything like that. So I'll be honest with you. We don't even know what the hell we're doing. We just buy stuff because it was recommended and it looked like we needed it, so we needed it, so we bought it. We're kind of needy, so... We just bought need like it. everything that we might need. Well, we're not mechanically inclined, no. so whatever can help, we yeah, need. Yeah, we need help. It's a, it's a need in our life. So we needed this. It might not be in somebody else's life, but it is in ours. It's lead free, by the way. Oh, yeah. This guy, where's our other guys? Where's the other dudes that go with this? This dude's... These dudes, we'll talk about these dudes together because these dudes are water filters. They connect, this dude connects to your water source and then to this guy and this guy connects to your hose, your hose connects to your rig, make sure your water's filtered. And each one of these lasts up to six months. Well, it says two packs two last months. up to six months. So is that three months three each? Probably three months. Or six months total. Three That's months the same thing. Six <laughs> Is it six months each or three months each? Three months each. Three months each, probably. We're going to assume it's three months each. Um, just to be safe. Anyway, we'll replace those. Hitch lock, we don't want to be stealing our rig. 
So we gotta make sure that um, it's locked up when we go. I'm not sure how much these were. We should probably be talking about how much stuff is, but I mean, just Google it, Look man. Where's the receipt? I don't know. Look it up. Where's the receipt? Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, I don't know, it's a kingpin block. And it wasn't too bad. Well, there, people have different interpretations of what's not bad. I mean, we it. spent freaking 900 bucks on stuff okay. today. It's not bad. It's not? It's not bad. I, I thought it wasn't bad. So that would be like, holy crap, are y'all you, you crazy? Well, some of the stuff was out of our control. Um, yeah, tape. Roof repair tape and stuff. Just in case. I mean, you don't want to be stuck and have a leak and not have something to patch it with. This list is too long to search. <laughs> I don't know. We're going through all this. This is where we're going to be when Jesus comes back. Mm -hmm. Slide lube. <laughs> we bought lube. Sash. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> These are the little pads that you put underneath your leveling jacks. So they're not like digging in the dirt and so make sure that they're sinking in the ground. not sinking in the ground and stuff. We're gonna probably invest in the snap pads and these snap pads they snap onto the onto the bottom of your leveling jacks. And it was was it wasn't really recommended to us, but I, I watched a video on uh, on another YouTube channel and that was Jones in to travel, like the name Jones and then the letter N and then number two and then travel. So <clears throat> if you're interested in the snap pads. Um, go check out their channel. He explains it really well. That's what kind of got us sold on it. So well, the what sells me is because it stays on. Yeah, it stays on. You don't ever have to pull blocks out again. And according to his video, anyway, you go on the website, you plug in your um, make a model of your of your RV. It'll tell you exactly what size you need to snap on your yeah, things. But shapes. Anyway, go watch Jones Into Travels video, and uh, it'll show you everything you need to know. Close. 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 Temporary. I'm gonna get a box. Chalks. Well, I'm again. I'm I'm military, so we put one on on every. I put one on every tire, cause in, in every direction, because mm -hmm. I don't know which way it's gonna roll. And I've seen stuff roll uphill. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It happens. So just chalk your stuff. It's a, a big investment on, of your stuff. You know. So you don't want your investment rolling away. This is my favorite, cause this is a this is a. 20 foot sewer support hose. This is going to support the stinky slinky. Mm -hmm. So I have always been an advocate of supporting my hose. Yeah. You gotta support your hose. Support your local hose. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you don't support your hose, who's gonna? <laughs> you know? Yeah. You don't want your hose just laying in the dirt. Yeah, no. So I invested like, what is it, like 35, 40 bucks? 33, I think. Yeah, that was to good. support my hose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can do this all day. Pennies. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Yes. This is going over here. Spices. Not like I'm gonna cook or anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for decoration. It's to give people the illusion I cook. <laughs> Every once in a while, we'll just sprinkle some of this out so it actually goes down and make it look like we're using it. We don't, we're not going to cook. Yeah. Who's got time for that? <laughs> Garbage bag. Garbage bags. That's super exciting. Mm -hmm. We just lost a subscriber for sure. <laughs> got trap grease. Trap grease. Trap grease. Um, you know, if this is not exciting, just 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 turn the video off. Don't, don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Let's not get fresh. Yeah. Our pop pads. Pop pads. To pad and our plates. pots. And plates. And plates. We got pot and plate pads to pad our pots and plates. <laughs> Say that five <laughs> times. <laughs> like we couldn't just buy contact paper and cut out squares. No, I ain't got time for that. No, we're gonna stack our plates. <laughs> People are gonna watch this and be like, "You don't need that." Oh my god! I need it. These people. I need it. Are not gonna survive <laughs> camping. To each their own, and I need yeah. it. 
Cool. And a hamper. Hamper. Better stinky clothes. Next. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted that. Yeah, this is a remote thing. So I don't have to get up off my lazy butt. Mm -hmm. uh, this will stick right to the wall. Right beside me. <laughs> Click. Back in the thing. <laughs> yep. Whatever's gonna make me get up the least amount of time. Shower. I mean, if you don't have one of these, you might as well just stay in your house and don't go full timing. <laughs> I need it. Cause you gotta have this. I don't like bottles. I really don't like bottles. We got these lovely bags. Yeah. As free, well. free parting gift. Somebody's watching this going, that is ridiculous. You don't need all that stuff. Good lord. <laughs> Most of the stuff I think I feel like we need. Yeah. We probably don't need these chairs. These are I nice to have. I needed this chair. You acted like you needed this chair. I needed this chair. Yeah. We we use the word need loosely. pretty loosely. <laughs> well, what we're accustomed to. We're accustomed. To. The thing is, is I mean, here's the bad thing. I we made a bad me. decision. Okay. Because uh, we bought the Montana model that has the most cargo capacity possible. The mistake was not making that purchase. The mistake was telling her how much cargo, how much cargo capacity we had. Because now she's going to use it all. No, we're not even going to come close. All. No. That's a wrap, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye. Nobody likes a dirty. You gotta say hoes. You can't just say. <laughs> then it like makes it real. Now it's now it's just wrong. <laughs> you, nobody likes dirty hoes. Hoes. Nobody likes dirty hoes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta make sure the tire pressure is good, and then I'll make sure that I'm have Leslie check the sidewalls for soft spots before we. <laughs> 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 Why is that guy? It's a gag we used to do to new privates. We used to uh -oh. hit the side of the armored vehicle with a hammer and check for soft spots on the armor. It's like totally stupid, but yeah. if you're someone who's in the motor pool with a hammer hitting the side of the armor, they're new and uh -oh. they're checking for soft spots on the side. <laughs> SNG. Anyway.